She lied to y'all. She been lying to y'all since 2014. Nick Mosby, Marilyn Mosby, the Maryland Black Caucus. Yeah, the haves versus the have-nots. She don't care about black Baltimore. She just care about the money she make off black bodies. That's Marilyn Mosby. I'm a whistleblower. And Marilyn Mosby needs to produce this mail. That's mail fraud. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower and I was making a movie and a documentary about the war on drugs. N62528, State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. Commode emotion. What I did in 86, I did again in 2006. Instead of guns, I used the toilet. And I put your names on it. This toilet is a political statement for freedom of speech and a focal point for my movie and book, Letters Design, a Rob Fix production. I got 14 movies. And one of the movies is within the penitentiaries, blacks have created an extension of a ghetto. It's called Get Shorty. We're going to show the war on drugs. T.J. Smith is a witness. He is a witness. Like I said, the haves versus the have-nots. I was making a movie about the 2014 elections. I ran for office. I ain't just running my mouth. GOP Carter, McFadden, yeah, Mary Pat Clark. We're talking about the prison industry right here, community in crisis. You want to go on TV talking about safety in the community? No, y'all created this situation, and that's Governor O'Malley and parole and probation. Getting ready to cook you up. I'm getting ready to cook you up to the 13th power for the 13th Amendment. That's Roland Martin when he was in Chicago. All right, Roland Martin, TV One, Radio One, Larry Hughes, Al Sharpton. Racism don't work without black cooperation. That's Shorty, a champion for justice. All right, stand for something and you're going to fall for anything. Like I said, I'm making a movie and this is one of the movies. That's Congressman Cummings. Like I said, I was making a movie and a documentary about Congressman Cummings, Sarbanes, Cardins, Mikulski, the prison industry. 1150 Falls Road, 2007. You seen the movie, The 13th Amendment? You read the book, The New Face of Old Jim Crow? Well, racism don't work without black cooperation. In regards to your documentary, I would not be able to appear. If my office can be of any assistance to you and you're further concerning the problems of federal agency, please do not hesitate to contact me. So I contacted him. That was 2007. That's 2008. I was making a movie about the prison industry. Please allow 30 to 60 days for this agency to respond. I will contact, contact you as soon as we receive information concerning your case. That's Chicago, 2008. That's 2007. And this is 2011. This is 2011. And this is 2007. All right. Congressman Cummings left me in jail. Mikulski left me in jail. Cardins left me in jail. And Obama asked for an investigation. This is the investigation. All right. This is my jailhouse diary. It all started 12-23-2007. I came to town and wanted... And went to Jesus' name for the second service. I saw my daughter LaQuish and my grandbaby Lyric and my nephew Clay. All right? FBI. Yeah. Like I said, it's a jailhouse diary. And it's very detailed. New York won the Super Bowl. You feel me? Let's make it a movie and a documentary. And now I just got the Weaver Award. I went from walk Baltimore's worst to Baltimore's best in 10 years. 10 years it took me to get here. We talking about the NAACP. We talking about shorty pull your mask up. No, we getting ready to unmask Baltimore. And that case is going to do it. You deny me due process and equal protections under the law. Yeah. Shorty, a champion for justice. <clears throat> That's the Ruvig Nuragua. He was a state prosecutor. I mean, a, a, a state attorney, all right? And we're talking about Governor O'Malley and parole and probation. Governor O'Malley got nine judges. Those nine judges got five friends. He got 45 judges in Rennes Court, Juvenile Court, Criminal Court. And he created the Cradle of Prison Pipeline, the School of Prison Pipeline. Like I said, 
I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we on mask in Baltimore, and I'm selling this. I got 14 movies. See that? Dwayne G. Davis, N62528. I'm a whistleblower. February 2011. See that? Towson Courthouse, State of Maryland. Custody records. Custodian records. Thursday, the 29th day of September. All right, 9.15 a.m. Nobody appeared in court and nobody returned my property and nobody got charged with my theft. That's Jerome Joyce, assistant public defender. He participated in the fraud. Date issued September 9th, 2011. You are liable to a body attachment, a fine or failure to obey the subpoena. All right. The subpoena shall remain into effect until you are granted leave or departed from the court. All right. You took the entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, a 1999 Chevy Suburban truck registration number, Dwayne G. Davis, all right, VIN number. Y'all stole that property from me. Like I said, I was making a movie, Commode a Motion, and I filed criminal charges. I filed criminal charges. See that? That's two of four. The toilet caper, Dwayne G. Davis, Baltimore man held in toilet caper. You took a computer, 13 movies, an external hard drive, a jailhouse diary, 20, 238 master copies of the film. Schellenberger knowingly presented false evidence to the grand jury. All right. I won my case. I was found innocent. And that's the state's attorney's office. And we're talking about Scott Schellenberger. All right. White male. All right. Kidnapped me from my house on 1402 Lockner. Because I put this toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. You kidnapped me from my family. She's lying to you. Talking about the innocence projects and the faces of innocence. Well, we talking about you shielding the corruption. Because I came to your office. I came to your office. You feel me? She's lying to you. Tell her to produce this mail. That's a green card, and I'm not an immigrant. Tell her to produce this mail. Tell her to stop lying to you.